Deu Good morning, friends. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dr. Mahajan. So, welcome to day 18. And uh, today the topic is the magical to-do list. So, before we start, do you have anything to share? Okay, so we start day 18 with the gratitude. So I just wanted to inquire, sir. Uh, yes, tell uh, me. When, when we do all these lists, like, you know, our writings and blessings and all everything, now we are in a mode of firmly believing it. And we tend to uh, uh, kind of write it with a positive attitude and all. You know, yes. Yes. fine. But now it so happens, you know, that then other people or something like that, they will tend to, you know, not believe it or they will say things like, you know, you know, how is that possible? How things can be done, you know? Uh, and then you kind of get into that fear whether the works will you be done. You just send, send some magic dust towards them. Uh, this is what and, I wanted. Yes, uh, just send some magic dust um, internally towards them. And you will uh, see magic happening. Okay. And okay. Uh, just, uh, you just go on. They will see the difference in you and uh, ma let magic do its work. Is it I have, I, you don't know how much uh, <laughs> uh, blessings come from the universe. It's Thank just amazing. Time. Right. It's even like what I meant to say, sometimes like, okay, you are changing and all. Then sometimes what happens when people tend to not believe and all, you know. No, you don't, you don't bother them. about them. You don't bother about that. You, yeah. I mean, they, in this exercise, there is only one person. There are not, not okay. no, nowhere there are two persons. Whatever, okay. whatever energy you send to them, okay, they are thinking like this, they are thinking uh, negatively, they are thinking that how is that possible, this and that. Yeah, but then how and my, that is how the energy which you are sending towards them. Okay, okay. So, okay. so you, there is only one person okay. who is okay. responsible for whatever is happening in your life. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, fine. And that Thank is you, you, and you and you only. Okay. Thank so whatever you think, uh, you are responsible, and whatever happens, you are responsible. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I also 
uh, want to share my experience, uh, Dr. Mahajan. Uh, sir, what uh, Dr. Mahajan is saying, I, I used to be in that mode, maybe even about 15, 20 years ago. I used to also think that I'm working on myself, but the other people are same. They are not changing. But uh, no, 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 no. Really... madam, my issue is it's not that change. Now you have a challenge. This is what I was facing. Maybe you have yeah. a big challenge and you yet want to believe you will come out of that challenge. Yes. But maybe the other people, you know, they'd say, how is that possible? How you can do it? This is what has been done at all. Yes, so, let, yes. let Dr. Nita share her experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, they will say, oh, uh, I didn't attract this uh, misery or whatever problem they are having. And when you try to uh, convince them, it's, it's not possible to convince anybody. They will see you, the change in you and the vibrations that you are uh, sending all around you. So you will okay. see automatically they will start believing. You just have to send the vibrations of your thoughts, your actions. Uh, this is what I have practiced and I have found it in many uh, situations, uh, especially uh, we have some relationship issues where at office or at, at in family. I have it, it works very beautifully. You just change your vibrations. That's it. People will start believing you automatically. Yes. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. Yes. So, uh, we thank the universe that we are alive. We thank for, for the wonderful food we all have. So much in abundance. We thank for the water, for clean water which has been provided to us. We thank all the people who have been working in, in towards bringing this food and water to, to our ta homes, to our tables. We thank uh, the excellent medicines available. We thank our patients who have given us such, such wonderful experiences of solving such problems, finding out the, the secrets. We thank the financial abundance we have received so far from childhood till now. Almost everything we needed was paid for. It was provided by, by either uh, our parents or the government or the uh, the country or somewhere the, the money always came and it is already coming so much in abundance from all directions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, our, our body. Thank you, our legs for carrying us from one place to another. Thank you, my dear heart, for pumping enough oxygen, enough blood to carry oxygen all over. Thank you, dear pancreas, for uh, pumping sufficient uh, insulin for to keep our blood sugars normal. Thank you, thank you for the excellent health we have got. Thank you, dear students, for make, keeping us enthusiastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we start today's session. 18, the magical to-do list. So, Rhonda Barron has provided us a letter uh, which is uh, from the balloons and in which we have a mag magical to-do list. We send a to-do list to the universe and the universe responds. And this magical to-do list, all the things we, we, which we want to happen in our life, I mean, I did a list of 100 things we want to do in our life and then uh, take them up one by one and they will start happening. The world is full of magical things waiting for our wits to grow sharper. Eden Philpotts, 20th century novelist and poet. Really, when you think about it, gratitude is your best friend. It's always there for you, always available to help you, it will never fail you or let you down and the more heavily you lean on it the more it will do for you and the more it will enrich your life today's magical practice will show you how to lean on gratitude even more so it can do far more magical things for you every day there are little life problems that come up and need solving 
This magical to-do list practice will help you with any little day-to-day -day problems when you don't know what to do or when you simply want something to be done for you. You will be amazed at the results. Maybe your problem is that you don't have enough time for all the things you need to do and you're at a loss because there are only 24 hours in the day. It may be that you feel overwhelmed from work and you want more free time but you can't see any way to have it. You may be at home taking care of children and you're feeling frazzled or exhausted but you don't have the means to get support to give you time out. You may be faced with a problem that needs fixing but you have no idea which way to turn to fix it. You may have lost something and tried your best to locate it but had no luck or you might want to find something like the perfect pet, babysitter, great hairdresser or amazing dentist or doctor and despite your best efforts you haven't been able to find what you need. You could be in an uncomfortable situation because of something a person has asked you to do and you don't know how to respond to them. Or you could be in some kind of dispute with someone and instead of getting it resolved things seem to be getting worse. This magical to-do list practice can solve all of those problems. When you combine gratitude's magical power with the law of attraction, people's circumstances and events are rearranged to do what you want done for you. You will not know how it will happen or how it will be done for you, and that is not your job. Your job is simply to be as grateful as you can be for what you want done as though it were already done and then let the magic happen. Today create a written to-do list of the most important things you would like to be done or resolve for you and title your list the magical to-do list. You might put things on your list that you don't have time to do or don't want to do along with any current problems from the smallest day-to-day -day things to bigger life situations. Think through any area of your life where you need something resolved or done for you. When you finish making your list, choose three things from your list to focus on today and one at a time imagine that each item has been magically done for you. Imagine that all people's circumstances and events have been moved to do it for you and it is now done. All done, all sorted, all solved for you and you are giving massive thanks in return for it having been done. Spend at least one minute on each of your three items believing it is done and feeling enormous gratitude in return. You can follow the same practice on the rest of the items on your list at another time, but there is power in simply putting the things you want done on the magical to-do list. Remember that the law of attraction says like attracts like and that means that when you are grateful for the solutions as though you have them you will attract everything you need into your life to resolve the situation. Focusing on problems attracts more problems. You have to be a magnet to the solution not a magnet to the problem. Being grateful that you have the solution and that it has been resolved attracts the solution. To demonstrate how powerful this magic practice is, I want to share a story with you about my daughter who used this practice to attract her lost wallet back to her. After being out one night, my daughter discovered the next morning that she did not have her wallet and she had no idea where she might have lost it or even if it had been stolen. She called the restaurant where she went to dinner, the taxi company she used to come home, the local police station and she searched the streets and knocked on surrounding doors. But no one had found her wallet. Other than the fact that my daughter's wallet contained the usual precious things in it, including all her bank and credit cards, driver's license and cash, her biggest concern was that her wallet contained no current contact information because she had been overseas for some time. She didn't have a publicly listed phone number and with a common surname, there seemed to be no hope. But despite the seemingly impossible obstacles, my daughter sat down, closed her eyes, and got a picture of her wallet in her mind. 
She visualized that she was holding her wallet in her hands. She opened her wallet. She went through all its contents and she felt enormous gratitude that she had her wallet and everything in it back and in her hands. For the rest of the day, whenever she thought of it, again my daughter imagined she had her wallet in her hands and she felt enormous elation and gratitude that her wallet had been returned to her. Later that night, she received a call from a farmer who lived 100 miles away, saying that he had found her wallet. The extraordinary part of this story is that the farmer had found the wallet in the street outside my daughter's home in the early hours of the morning, and he immediately searched the wallet looking for contact details. He made several calls in trying to find its owner, but to no avail, and so he gave up and drove back to his farm with the wallet. But while he was walking out in the fields at his farm, the wallet kept nagging and nagging at him, and he decided to search through it one last time. He found a small piece of paper with a man's Christian name written on it, so he put the Christian name together with my daughter's surname and called directory assistance. There was just one listing for that Christian name and surname. The farmer called the phone number and it was the home of my daughter's father. To this day, we do not know how the farmer got that phone number because it was an unlisted number. We called directory assistance ourselves several times after this happened and the response every time was, sorry, there is no listing for that name. From 100 miles away, through the most extraordinary sequence, of seemingly impossible events, my daughter's wallet was returned to her intact. She fulfilled her part in being grateful that she had her wallet back. And as must happen, gratitude performed its magic and moved every person, circumstance and event to return her wallet to her. The magical power of gratitude is available for you to use as well. And it always has been. You just had to discover it for yourself and learn how to use it. So basically you have to make a magical to-do list of all the things you want to happen in your life. I mean, it could be a daily basis or uh, on a long-term basis. Ideally, add 100 things and uh, uh, find certain about three or four to begin with. Just focus on three or four. And once those three or four are implemented, you can choose another three or four. And you will see magic happening. So... Uh, at this stage, uh, anybody would like to share? I can see some uh, new people also. Day 18, the magical to- So, in the magical to-do list... Recap of the magical to-do list practice. Create a written list of the most important things or problems you need done or solved. Title your list the magical to-do list. Choose three of the most important things from your list and one at a time imagine that each thing has been done for you. Spend at least one minute on each thing believing it is done and feeling enormous gratitude in return. And remember to count your blessings in the morning 
And before you go to sleep tonight, remember to use your magic rock to remind yourself to be grateful for the best thing that happened during the day. So make a list and just uh, share it. Uh, just uh, focus on just three or four things and then uh, share it. Uh, there is uh, one new participant uh, by the name of uh, Abundance. Uh, can you introduce yourself, sir? Or ma'am? Sir, it's me, Sangeeta, sir. I okay, have... okay. Hello, Sangeeta. How are you? I have just changed the name. I couldn't attend for two days. Okay. So I have changed with my name. So I thought like, you know, even the word, uh, yes, even yes. I have changed the name. So everything I want to, uh, night also I got up, I just uh, read few words and I just slept like, you know. Uh, yes, uh, So exactly. that, that will be like, because visualization has become very difficult sometimes. So if I just keep those words, like it will be there in my mind automatically. Yes. Start coming, so. Words have power. And words yes. have a, a manifesting power in, in your life. Whatever you think or speak, they that manifests in your life. So yes. the yes. word yes. abundance yes. is the word abundance, the word thank you. I was two, three days I just shared a, a video. We created a video on all the the uh, synonyms of the word thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Yes. I mean, so it's a good word. So, so thank you for sending me the check. Okay, so we previously also have attended the uh, one money manifestation uh, workshop. So I yes. didn't get that check. Thank you for sending me, sir. I'll just take the Xerox and I'll write it off. Yes. Thank just you, uh, you can have, a, to begin with, you can have a smaller amount. When you yes. Once you get it, you just uh, uh, then take it because then that will give you confidence that it yeah. really does. And then yeah. you can have it bigger and bigger. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I mean, as Rhonda Valness said that uh, the universe starts focusing on whatever uh, is there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we are alive because we are healthy. Yes, sir. So that is how it is there. So similarly, the check... Uh, the, the the universe has cut the check that so the universe will encash it hmm. yes. for you. Yes, yes. So, I'll, I'll take the Xerox and I'll just write an amount and I'll keep it. Sir, once it manifests, I'll get back to you, sir. I'll let you know. Yes, or you can take a colored printout also. That will look more real. I'll do that. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. Sir, so, any uh, sir anybody any else? Sir, when we are writing this make-to-do list, uh, uh, the, the way what we write is in the manner that we want that thing, okay? That I want yes. more time in my this. I I want, uh, 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 what do you say, uh, the grocery to come on time. So this is what I want, I would be asking in this manner. I would not say that, yes, it is already there. Am I correct, yes. sir, in make-to-do list? Okay. Yes, Nini, you, you want... Uh... The, you thank the universe that it has arrived, already arrived. Okay, so the make to do list, I will be all the way I stated that I have already got it. It's that way. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And you say thank you to the universe. Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. Uh, I just uh, want to ask one thing. Uh, we just uh, Mahajan Madam said that we have to write that thing that we have got it and in the present tense. Yes. Okay. Please, thank you. Tense, because the tense is important here. Yes. In which, uh, and you have to write there. thank you three times. It is Brahma, okay. Vishnu, Mahesh. The, okay. the trinity. Okay. So when you Sub do lessons. anything three times, it manifests. Yeah. So blessings are different and this make-to-do list is different. So in make-to-do list also, you would be already assuming that it has been done. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I mean, okay. then your the mental computer, it starts 
uh, getting the, tuned to the vibrations of, that it is done. In Maxwell Maxwell Mel's book, uh, the psycho cybernetics. He's a plastic surgeon who has worked on phantom limb and changing people's face and all that. And he says that you assume, uh, uh, even if he changed the people's face uh, or uh, did plastic surgery, nothing happened. But when they change their own self-image, that they are like this, dramatic changes were seen in their life. Our human mind is like a, a biological computer. It is goal-seeking. And so when we write a magical to-do list, the certain processes they start in our mind and uh, with the universal intelligence, we are all part of the same energy. And that same energy starts, I mean, that energy starts manifesting whatever we have uh, given gratitude for in, in our life. So, uh, for the uh, magical to-do list for medical and health professionals in India, the concept of medical to-do list emphasizes the transformative power of aligning tasks with gratitude and intention. The medical students and health professionals can leverage the medical to-do list to enhance their medical journeys. Applying day 18 concepts to uh, medical sciences, integrating gratitude into learning. Medical students can incorporate gratitude into their magical to-do list by expressing thankfulness for the opportunity to learn. They infuse their studies with positivity and enthusiasm. Patient-centered tasks. Health professionals can focus on patient-centered tasks in their medical to-do list by aligning their duties with gratitude for the privilege of making a difference. They enhance patient interactions. Balancing medical and professional goals. The magical to-do list can help professionals balance personal and medical goals by including self-care tasks alongside clinical duties. They create a well-rounded approach to their day. Team collaboration with gratitude. The collaborative tasks can be incorporated expressing gratitude for teamwork. This approach fosters a sense of unity and cooperation amongst healthcare teams. And MPBS students uh, includes tasks like study for the upcoming exam with gratitude from the knowledge gained. This approach transforms study from a core into an opportunity for growth and learning. A doctor's list includes tasks such as spend quality time with patients, listening attentively, and connecting with empathy. This approach turns routine tasks into meaningful moments of care. A health professional includes Tasks like attend a yoga session, for personal well-being along with med medical tasks. This approach reflects the importance of self-care for maintaining a balanced medical journey. Our course is on Physician Heal Thyself. A nurse adds collaborate with colleagues on patient care strategies to to the medical, magical uh, to-do list. This approach fosters gratitude for teamwork and enhances patient outcomes. Day 18 of Magic introduces the concept of magical to-do list, highlighting the transformative effect of gratitude and intention in daily tasks. MBBS students and health professionals in India 
can apply these principles to their medical journeys by infusing their magic, magical to-do list with gratitude for learning, patient care, personal growth, and teamwork. By embracing positivity and purpose, they create a more fulfilling, impactful experience within the dynamic realm of medical sciences. We pray that India becomes a global hospital with patients coming from all over the world coming to India. And yesterday, as the Prime Minister has released the uh, for special tasks for uh, all the uh, rural uh, artisans and a similar one uh, is there for all the healthcare workers. That is also in the uh, coming very fast. I mean, recently Government of India has made uh, 156 medical colleges uh, the number of seats have been increased to from one uh, to one lakh and going to be increased to two lakhs. So we we pray. Um, I mean, we thank the government of India. We thank the, uh, the the National Medical Commission has created CBME. I mean, we thank. We we express gratitude for what is being done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So. Anybody would like to share something? So, thank you friends for joining as we move in this journey. So the 18th day is over and today make a magical to-do list. And uh, I the best way is to write 100 things uh, which you want to do in life and then choose uh, three things which you want to uh, implement uh, in the beginning. You can also uh, create a daily to-do list, daily, weekly, uh, three monthly, yearly, five yearly, 10 yearly, lifetime goals. And you will see the magical effect of having this to-do list. There is a book by Edwin C. Bliss, Do It Now. And that book, this book also emphasizes, there is a whole book only on uh, creating uh, this to-do list. And it is, if you, if you can get it from somewhere, it is great. So, I think we can end it here now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank uh, you. Sir, can you uh, can you write the name in the WhatsApp group, sir? The name of the book? Yes, it's a do, author. Do, doing it now by Edwin C. Bliss. I'll see if I can find the link for the, on the Amazon uh -huh. also. So I will share with that. I mean, it is a fantastic uh, book. And sir, uh, I got it when I was in fourth year in medical college. Okay, uh, so are these all recordings available on the uh, YouTube. YouTube channel? You uh, YouTube channel yes. you share? Yes, yes. I mean, okay. some, I mean, because yesterday was a Sunday, we couldn't upload. My staff comes will be okay. uploading them today. Okay, sir. Sir, yes. even the video of today's uh, by Sarika Ji, I think that has to be also sent. Uh, yes. And the secret and the secret uh, uh, movie, sir. English yes, I, I will send that. Yes, the, thank you, sir. The, yes, thank you. Yes, I mean, I had, I have already sent you one book, uh, the Magic Practice book. In that, uh, all the, the videos by Sarika Ji's, uh, along with the day, along with the assignment, they are there. You ah, just yes, need yes, to yes, go yes. through that particular day yes. and see yes. the link, uh, and you can just. Uh, listen to th those uh, uh, videos. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Thank you. Very yes. Much. Uh, uh, thank you. I'll be, I'll be send, I'll sending the, today's link also. So thank you, thank you, thank you.